This is the first 22 miles of Rich Beach to climb through Chehala Mountain. Registration and the start at Conestoga Middle School was organized and efficient. To get you going, you'll almost immediately face a short steep climb on Shoals Ferry. This is a Cat 5 climb of about 200 feet, over 3 quarters of a mile, topping out though at 14%. After cresting the climb though, you've got about 10 miles of fairly flat riding through a beautiful countryside. After about seven and a half miles, the road veers left and you head towards the town of Shoals. Soon afterwards, you'll turn left onto Shoal Sherwood Highway and continue your trek through the beautiful countryside. This includes a fast little sled ride east with the view of Mount Hood on a clear day. Crossing the Bow Road, you'll be faced with about two miles of pretty good sized rollers. Don't burn your matches yet because the real climbs are yet to come. To the right are the hills you'll soon be climbing. The first road climbing begins with a 0.6 mile climb of about 160 feet on Kruger Road. The ride starts flat and gets gradually steeper, topping out at about 8% grade near the top. After pressing the climb, you'll have a short, sweet, switchbacky descent. Enjoy the ride because at the bottom you begin the biggest climb of the day. Here you're starting a Cat 3 three mile climb of about 600 feet elevation gain topping out at nearly a thousand feet. The beauty of the climb does a lot to alleviate the pain as it weaves its way along forested creeks and through sunlit meadows. Here JC gives a demonstration on how to drop somebody on a climb. Chapman Road, watch for oncoming traffic. At 
this point, you gained about 60% of the total elevation gain for the climb. Then, a quick right onto the end of the road where you want to try to gain some speed because you're facing now the toughest climb of the day. This is a tough, steep little climb topping out at about a 19% grade. But don't despair. It's only about three tenths of a mile long and a hundred feet total elevation gain. And at the top, there's a conveniently located cemetery. Besides the cemetery and a stunning view, once you're over the top, you'll be treated to a wonderful descent. This descent starts out with a steep drop, and you can either freewheel it and take it easy or punch it for a high speed thrill ride. Not being a great climber, I feel like I paid fully for the premium ticket for the high speed express ride down the hill. A right turn onto Bell Road gives you a break in the action, but the, when the road veers left, the thrills begin anew. And here, I demonstrate to JC how to drop someone on the descent. Fly away, I'll fly away, ride the phone. On the left is a great view of the Willamette Valley, and on a clear day, it seems you can see all the way to Salem. Fly away, I'll fly away, ride the phone. Watch for the sweeping curve where Bell Road meets Springbrook Road. Right after the curves, you're faced with a series of very large rollers. Generally, you can make it up the rollers if you carry a lot of speed down and you get out of the saddle and punch it in your big gears. Finally, at about mile 21, you make a left turn onto Mountain View Road for the slide and glide down to the rest stop at Newbird High School. So, for those of you who want to start from Portland instead of Newbird and ride the Chehalem Mountains, there are three important tips. One, don't burn your matches on the early climbs and always ride within yourself. Two, make sure your glycogen stores are topped up before the climb and right after the climb. And finally, pre-ride the climbing route a few times before the actual reach speech ride. That way you'll get accustomed to the rhythm of the climb, 
where you have to work it and where you can relax. Thanks for watching.